Hey everyone, this is Hashem. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about some of my favorite coffee roasteries based here in Melbourne. But anyway, yeah, we're going to get nerdy about coffee beans. So if you're not really into coffee, I'm not sure why you would have clicked on the video, but maybe you're getting into it or you're curious about it, in which case stick around. And there's really great advantages to making coffee yourself at home. You get to try all these different beans with the different sources from around the world and the, the tasting notes that you'll get from them and you start to learn about that and you get to brew them using different methods whether it's something as simple as a mocha pot or a pour over or v60 and you save a lot of money compared to buying coffee out and uh, to me it's a therapeutic process making coffee in the morning so yeah i'll get into the five or six brands that i uh, want to mention in this video but it's not exhaustive if you have coffee especially, you know, sourced here in Melbourne that you would suggest, drop it in the comments. Number one also is if you're going to buy, if you're getting into coffee making at home, I would definitely recommend buying whole beans, which is what I'm going to be talking about here, and then grinding it yourself using some kind of grinder, whether it's a hand grinder or a, a cheap electric grinder like the Baratza Encore that I mentioned in my YouTube short about making V60. So yeah, let's get into it. The first brand I want to talk about is Proud Mary. And uh, they have a great variety of both filter and espresso roast coffee. Uh, but yeah, they've got three different grades within the Proud Mary range, starting from mild, and then they go up to curious, which is usually in a yellow bag like this one. And then they have the wild variety, which is in a pink bag. One of my favorites. They tend to be the more out there sort of coffees. And then they have the deluxe which is often you know what it sounds like like a deluxe coffee bean whether it's a geisha or something like that and uh, i get my coffee through them via subscription so they're one of my two favorite coffee roasteries in melbourne proud mary uh, they have a huge variety of different beans and other types of coffees not only for filter and espresso they do really high grade instant coffees and um, they have a huge range of brewing gear and it's a really cool place if you haven't visited um, either their main roastery in collingwood or the cafe around the corner so yeah, that's uh, Proud Mary. The other cool thing about them is that their subscription is inclusive of shipping. So if you subscribe, for example, I get a uh, 250 gram bag every two weeks and that's 24, sorry, $24, I think. Yeah, 22 maybe is what I paid because I got a, a sign up deal when they launched it. But that's around the average of most coffee subscriptions I find in Melbourne. Uh, but when it includes shipping, it becomes really good value because it's about the same price as you'd pay if you were walking into the store, if not a bit less, if you happen to get... Uh, a wild or you know a, a coffee a single origin that costs more than that subscription cost so they're based in melbourne the other really cool thing about them is they are also over in the us so if you're watching from the us they actually have a, a warehouse at least or maybe they're roasting over there as well but either way you can get fresh beans if you're in the us so that's one of my two favorites my other favorite is actually market lane market lane is a great roastery that also started in melbourne probably more than 10 years ago and they have a big focus on sustainability and environmental factors. You can see on their website right now the amount of focus they put on sustainability, uh, including even the compostable bags and things like that. So not only that, but they just tend to have great coffee. Every time I've bought from Market Lane, when I get a chance to, to drop into one of their cafes around the Queen Victoria market, it's always been good. They also have great variety of filter and espresso roast, you know, in case you're making either at home. It's also pretty competitive with the industry standard. They have 250 gram bags. I don't have one of them here, but you can see uh, an example in the YouTube short that I mentioned earlier where I was uh, grinding up and brewing some of their single origin filter roast beans. So, so they would probably have my favorite coffee in terms of the actual beans themselves in Melbourne as far as I've ever tried. And the cost wise for the subscription, it is $22. And I'm pretty sure that includes shipping. And they also offer free shipping on orders over $50 through their website in case you're thinking about buying from interstate and you just want to try out their beans. But I think they're one of the best uh, uh, roasters in the country uh, and at least in Melbourne. So that's Market Lane. I don't have a bag of it right now, but let's move to the next one, which is Industry Beans. They've also been around for a long while. I think they started with their roastery in Fitzroy. Uh, Industry Beans also has a bunch of cafes now. They most recently opened a big one in Chadston. And uh, that's sometimes somewhere I'll go to buy a top up bag of coffee beans that have a bunch of different filter roasts, which is what I tend to buy. They also have some really good espresso. Cost wise for the industry beans, uh, coffee beans is actually quite competitive. They tend to be a dollar or two lower per average uh, bag of 250 or 500 grams, whatever it is that you want to buy. 
They also offer free shipping and you only have to spend $15, which is easily going to be achievable because most bags of coffee beans cost about $16, $17 or more. So if you're just buying a single bag, they'll ship free anywhere in Australia. And they also have a subscription uh, model, which is similar to the other ones I've mentioned. Really good value for money if you just want to get into a specialty coffee and you don't want to break the bank. Um, I would recommend giving Industry Beans a try and also checking out one of their cafes, uh, whether it's in Fitzroy, Chadston, and I think they have some other locations, including CBD Melbourne. Uh, but yeah, that's Industry Beans. So next one I want to mention is uh, Bench Coffee. So Bench is a little bit of a wild card in this mixture. They're not as popular, but that's because uh, my friend Nick, who you may have seen over on Pushing Film, uh, is one of the, the staff, one of the owners, uh, over at Bench Coffee Co. So they started roasting their own beans fairly recently. And uh, every now and then he gives me, he hands me a bag of coffee beans, um, you know, in exchange for borrowing a camera lens or something. But yeah, if you go back to the Pushing Film channel's very first video, we actually shot our first video in 2016 in one of the Bench uh, cafes, which was, I think this first one, Slater Street. They have cafes in Melbourne CBD now, uh, St. Drew, and also the Bench Cafe just downstairs of St. Drew in Little Collins Street, I believe. But yeah, they uh, really know their stuff when it comes to sourcing and roasting coffee beans. They don't have as large of an online store in terms of offering subscriptions and as many different uh, roasts and um, single origins and whatnot, but they'll always have a good few options at a time and you can pick up from the Melbourne Cafe on Little Collins Street. Uh, so that's Bench. There's no subscription uh, model as far as I know. They're thinking about launching it as far as Nick told me. And also there's no rewards program like you might find with Proud Mary or Industry Beans who I've mentioned so far, which is cool if you're going to buy from someone regularly. It's cool to have a rewards program. Um, all right. So next there's Wide Open Road. These guys are great too. Also based in Melbourne. Also started probably 2009, 10-ish um, in Brunswick and uh, they actually have a big cafe where they do food, breakfast, and uh, they roast beans on site there in Brunswick, as far as I know, and they most recently opened up a branch in Byron Bay. But if you're anywhere else in Australia, you wanna try some good coffee, give Wide Open Road a try. They have some really nice stuff, especially the single origins, the filter roasts. And the last one I wanna mention that I actually have here is Rumble Coffee. This one I only tried for the first time recently. They also are based in Melbourne, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if they started elsewhere and moved here, but I think they have always been in Melbourne, uh, but they have some really nice single origins and blends, uh, espresso roast, filter, same thing as before. Um, prices are comp competitive. For a subscription, you can get the espresso for $20 shipped, but the filter roast beans are about $25. So it's a little bit more if you're uh, drinking filter coffees, but still pretty good, still competitive. And uh, if I didn't mention it, the Wide Open Road did a subscription as well, which was $20. So yeah, um, that's the, the few that I had now, the bunch that I wanted to mention, mainly because I've either used them a lot or I have them on hand at the moment, but it's not exhaustive. Let me know what your favorite Melbourne coffee roasters are. Uh, any beans you think I should try out that stand above the rest for whatever reason. Um, yeah, personally, Market Lane and Proud Mary are my two favorite go-tos, but there are others I've tried in the past, and I thought I would give a quick mention here, like um, Honor Coffee, which was actually based in Canberra and opened up a big cafe in Brunswick. They do pretty competitive prices on 250 gram bags. I like when you can get a smaller bag if you want it. It's not just a 500 or a short change 200. Um, and they have a really nice cafe that they, they do food. And um, yeah, I've tried their coffee before. It's also really good. Code Black also in the Brunswick-ish area. I think they're Brunswick or maybe Collingwood. But they have a big cafe. They roast on site and I've tried their beans too. Uh, they have a subscription, but it's also a 500 gram limit. And it's about $42 for a 500 gram bag every however often you want it. And um, there's also A Coffee, which was actually a company that started side by side as a partnership with the Bench Cafe before they started to roast their own beans. And they have a, a really nice cafe and they roast on site also in Collingwood. I think it's Easy Street. But in terms of buying their coffee beans, the subscription model is monthly only. You can't get it fortnightly. I do like fortnightly subscriptions. 
and it's a minimum three month. Whereas most of the other subscription models will let you cancel any time in case you just want to try it and move on or stop subscribing. So I'm not a huge fan of the online subscription model and sales model with a coffee, but it's not too bad. Their coffee is great. Don't get me wrong. A lot of cafes use their coffee and it is a really nicely roasted stuff. It tends to be on the lighter side of the, you know, lighter roasts. So they're worth trying as well. Worth the mention in this video. Also Tin Man Coffee. I think they have a heavier focus on espresso. So if you like to make your own espresso, definitely try Tin Man. I think they are the main coffee used by Queensbury Poorhouse in North Melbourne. And uh, I've also seen a place called Pillar Coffee online, which is another Melbourne roastery, but they don't do any free shipping on subscriptions, something I'm also not a fan of because generally you want to work that into the cost when everyone else is doing it. I know it's harder for a smaller business, which they probably are. Um, but I do want to try them out. I want to try out Pillar Coffee. So again, yeah, that's what I have right now. There's heaps of others I've actually tried, but this is the list I wanted to put in the video as some of the standout, I think best coffee roasters here in Melbourne for specialty coffee, sourcing, uh, you know, some of the best coffees from around the world, roasting them well, offering great prices and subscription models and uh, varieties online that you can get or to go and pick up in store to have a coffee in store, maybe have breakfast if they serve it. And um, yeah, just thought I would share that with you. But hopefully in the future, I will maybe do a follow-up video to this, do, you know, maybe five more coffee, great coffee roasters in Melbourne. I'm sure more of them will start to emerge. Melbourne is one of the coffee capitals of the world as far as I see it. And we're pretty lucky here. We're spoiled for choice for good coffee. So uh, yeah, I'm very lucky to, to have access to all that. But if you're based interstate, definitely maybe check out some of their online options. Again, some of these you can subscribe to with free shipping, which is really convenient. And then uh, for most of them, you can just cancel, you know, anytime if you're not pleased for whatever reason, or if you're based overseas, especially in the US, you can check out brands like Proud Mary, who may offer something equivalent for some of these great coffees if they have a warehouse over there, uh, or even some of them might ship internationally. You can always check out their websites and give some of these great coffees a try. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed discovering some of these um, brands of coffee and some roasteries here in Melbourne. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.